The set of glazing bars that connect to the hip, the jack rafters, should now be fitted. The jack rafters have tops which are cut at an angle and when in position will run perpendicular from the eaves beam until they meet and attach to the hips. Before attaching the jack rafter, slide the jack rafter under cladding down and away from the top end of the jack rafter. Remember to remove the protective film. Locate the jack rafter arm onto the domed bolt and loosely attach the M6 flange nut. Do not tighten. Slide the undercladding back to the top of the jack rafter and tight up against the hip undercladding. Locate the jack rafter onto the bolts in the eaves beam and loosely attach the M5 flange nuts. Prior to tightening any M5 locking nuts, it's recommended that you perform some glazing bar position checks. The positions of the intermediate glazing bars are confirmed by performing dimensional checks between the rafter centers. These dimensions, shown on your roof plan, are taken from the center line of the transom glazing bars. If all the glazing bars and jack rafters are correctly positioned, tighten all M5 and M6 flange nuts.